all babies are atheists, apparently, according to uh, one aphorism. Really. Now, the interesting thing about that kind of a statement is that there's really no way to verify it. There's no way to approach a baby and say, what is your belief? What's your metaphysics here? I want you to under I want to understand your cosmology. Tell me what you believe all of this means. Tell me if you believe that you're alone or if there's something else in here. Uh, are you uh, a dualist? Are you uh, a non-dualist? Are you um, a theist, an atheist? Uh, what is what does all this mean to you, uh, Mr. or Miss Newborn? <laughs> well. I think we know what the response is going to be. It's going to be ga-ga-goo-goo. -goo. <laughs> and I think that that's probably actually a very telling response because the infant doesn't have any means of making any sense out of anything that you're saying. First of all, there's the barrier of language. It hasn't learned what language is yet. Um, secondly, um, it hasn't learned what God might mean. It has no point of reference to sort of even imagine what an other is. There may be some intuitive sense that there is another out there based on its experience with this other thing called mother or somebody else who's nurturing it. Uh, human infants being so helpless they require an other to help them. Uh, there might be um, some sense that uh, this other thing is just supplying the bare minimum that is essential, um, but that other thing's existence is so nebulous that to be almost irrelevant the mother who knows we have no way of communicating with the infant uh, to find out or at least con c communicating with the infant on that level on the level of the conceptual to understand what that infant's view of reality itself is so can we really say that all babies are atheists or theists Rationally speaking, the only way we can really verify that is to ask a baby. Um, it's like trying to ask a baby, what is it like to be a baby and not understand language? Well, obviously the baby might have sort of an opinion of this because it hasn't figured out how to use something yet, but it doesn't know what language is. So how can it be missing something or not something that it can't grasp to begin with. It has to learn what language is before it can start making an opinion about language. Um, now this is not to say that theists uh, get off the hook either, because the baby has, we have no way of figuring out again the metaphysics, the cosmology of the baby to find out whether or not the baby understands what God is in order to believe in it. Which is interesting. Because in the Bible, um, I believe it's Matthew 19 somewhere or other, or whatever, I don't know, uh, the thing, um, unless you become like children, you will never understand the kingdom of heaven or something like this. In other words, you have to kind of become baby-like to uh, understand God or to understand the kingdom of heaven or whatever, okay? Um, then there's the all babies are atheists. They're Essentially, they seem to be trying to insinuate the same thing. And the line between belief and non-belief gets a bit blurred here when you're trying to rewind back to the uh, infantile state. Um, so it's unclear, if you ask me, what a baby thinks, what a baby conceives of the universe, what the baby understands any of this to mean. Um, and I think that it's a bit presumptuous to sort of use the childlike state uh, as a bolster for an argument that the child itself probably would be unable to grasp. Um, we've seen the way that theists will indoctrinate children. Um, they'll sort of put all kinds of subtle uh, uh, metaphorical, um, parabolic sort of um, ideas into the baby's head as, as much as a human being is capable of such a thing to plant this seed of theism. If the pres presumption in uh, the statement, all babies are born atheists, if you didn't do that, then the baby would grow up to be an atheist. Um, I think that there might be some 
uh, validity to that in a certain sense, in that something would be absent. But absence of understanding of the underlying concept is not atheism, if you ask me. It's something, I think it's called agnosticism or some such word. Um, all babies are agnostics? I don't know. Uh, possibly. Again, that's unverifiable. Um, now, what would an atheist parent do? I'm sure there are atheist parents out there. Most people, I think, it's somewhat normal for people to, to want their kids to be like them. Um, you want your kids to be a mini-you, in, in a sense. It's uh, Socrates said it's the closest thing that a human being has to immortality. Uh, in other words, something of ourselves is going to carry on after we die. Um, apparently, we're supposed to, in the strictly scientific point of view, we're supposed to, Darwinian point of view, we're supposed to pass on our DNA. A lot of people like to think that they're passing on something else, uh, their ideals with their kids or whatever. Um, let's say I want to pass on my atheism. And I start to teach a kid to be an atheist at a very, very early age. Do I have to rely on the same tools as a theist would? Is it a species of brainwashing to pass atheism onto a child? I think that it might be if one isn't careful. And the process of inculcating certain beliefs onto a child is so visceral, I suppose one would say, so um, uh, sublogical that I don't really know if it's possible to not uh, use the irrational the um, intuitive um, and the emotional and the atavistic to pass on even things like atheism. You think that it's that it's perfectly rational, but the process by which an infant comes into this plane of existence and tries to figure it all out and make sense of it is not necessarily <laughs> rational. Um, the simple fact that a baby doesn't even know what rationalism is. It has nothing but the intuitive to go on. Um, it has nothing but the sublogical. Um, and in fact, it doesn't even have enough knowledge to know that it is dealing with the intuitive and the sublogical. Um, what are all babies? Next time you see a rosy-cheeked or, you know, pleasant-looking little baby grinning up at you, what do you suppose is going on behind those eyes? Thank you.